Okay, right, so previously we spoke a lot about um, inguinal hernias, right? So here we're just trying to look at the differences between the two types of inguinal hernias, right? So an inguinal hernia could be what? Direct. Or an inguinal hernia could be indirect, okay? So looking from the pictures, I know you cannot make a lot of sense from it. But let's see how you can put it in writing form. So we have the direct inguinal hernia here. And next is the indirect inguinal hernia. So like when we look at the point here, we'll go and look at the point on another side, okay? So uh, for the overview, we see that direct and indirect inguinal hernias are two types of what? Inguinal hernias. But they actually define their anatomical location and their causes. So for the uh, um, location on the direct one, we said that what? It occurs when the abdominal contents push directly through a weak spot in the posterior wall of the inguinal canal. All right? So it is at the back. The direct one is at the back. Do you understand? Then for indirect, we said that what? It occurs when abdominal contents protrude through the inguinal ring, then travel down the inguinal canal. The indirect one is what? Directly into the inguinal. I don't know if you understand. Their names are kind of like opposite to their meaning. All right? Then the causes could be due to what? Age related weakening of the abdominal wall. Then also activities like heavy weight lifting. Straining can also contribute. This one is often congenital. Somebody just giving birth to the condition like that. Okay? Can also develop later on in life due to weakness around that area. Symptoms is there will be bulge in the groin area, which may actually descend into the scrotum. Uh, the symptoms are that uh, there's a bulge in the groin that descends into the scrotum. Yeah, yeah. When it descends into the scrotum, that's when you're talking about inguinoscrotal hernia. All right. So talking about is common. Is actually this one is common in adults. The direct one. Why the indirect one is more common in what children and younger adults. Okay. That's younger people, including infants. Okay, so I think basically that's the differences. So for summarizing the differences, so that for the pathway, direct inguinal hernia is through what a weak spot in the abdominal wall, while indirect is into the inguinal canal. All right. So for the age, the direct ones is mostly in older adults. Indirect is congenital or younger people. All right. So that's it for the differences between the direct inguinal hernia and the indirect inguinal hernia.